Welcome to the Chant School podcast, where we learn to sing the ancient chants of the Catholic Church. The Chant School podcast is a production of Floriani, a men's vocal ensemble dedicated to serving the church and saving the culture through the beauty of sacred music. I'm Thomas. I'm Giorgio. We are members of Floriani and your hosts for the Chant School podcast. Thanks for joining us. Great. Well, let's jump right in. Uh, This podcast is going to be a practical podcast. We'll share a few tidbits about the history and any points of interest that we come across from the depth and breadth of our research. But primarily, our project here is to teach you to chant. We are going to avoid the finer points of music theory and chant theory. Our principal goal is to give you the tools you need to learn these chants by rote, which means we'll be singing the chant for you, breaking it down into little pieces, and giving you space to sing it back. In our first episode, we are going to be learning Ave Maristella. Giorgio, why don't you give us a little background to this chant? So the Ave Maristella is a chant that probably goes back to around the 9th century. A lot of people attribute it to St. Bernard of Clairvaux, who was around in the 11th century. But there is textual evidence that says it goes back to the uh, about the 9th century from a, a codex in the monastery of St. Gall. Um, but there's also sources that say it goes back to the 6th century, uh, to, and it's attributed to St. Venantius Fortunatus, uh, a bishop. The chant itself probably arrives in the 12th century. That's the earliest we see the, the notation for it. Uh, regardless, it is a powerful text, and it emphasizes Mary, the Virgin Mary's role as the star of the sea, the northern star that is fixed in the sky, and which at which we can follow. This ninth-century fellow named Pascasius Rodbertus is quoted saying, "Mary, star of the sea, must be followed in faith and morals, lest we capsize amidst the storm-tossed waves of the sea." She will illumine us to believe in Christ, born of her for the salvation of the world. Just a quick story behind this hymn. Um, St. Bridget of Sweden in the 13th century was seized by a Roman mob. Our Lady, while she was on the pyre, asked her to sing the Ave Maria Stella. And at the point of singing Solve Vincla Reis, which is to break the fetters, St. Bridget was taken from the pyre and led to safe ground and just shows the power of this beautiful ancient hymn and why we should sing it. Awesome. Let's jump right in. Ave Maria Stella, Dei Mater Alma, Atque Semper Virgo, Felix Celi Porta. We have a few things going on here. We have obviously the Latin words, and if you're not familiar with that side of things, we'll we'll go through it. And then we have a very kind of complex but beautiful and mysterious sounding melody. So let's go over the words first. Ave Maris Stella. Ave Maris Stella. Dei Mater Alma. Dei Mater Alma. Atque semper virgo. Atque semper virgo. Felix celi porta. Felix celi porta. A few mistakes that people often make are adding diphthongs to the Latin. So, for example, for ave, instead of doing ave, where you have two vowels at the end, you just want to keep that single pure e, ave. Maris, stella. And then for another complicated word, Mater. Some people roll their R's at the end of it. Mater. Uh, I, 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 I am ge- uh, genetically incapable of rolling my R's. Thomas was not raised in any Latin-speaking country, so... Giorgio didn't know this before he hired me, or else he probably wouldn't have hired have been, me. In yeah. fact, you're, he's learning this on air, so... Uh, we'll have to talk after. That's right. So, uh, Mater. If you can't roll the R, I would just sing Mate. Dei Mate Alma. Dei Mater Alma. So now we'll throw in the melody. So here's your very first opportunity to sing chant. 
Ave Maria Stella, Ave Maria Stella. Now that might be just a little too complicated for everyone, so we'll break it down into parts. Ave, Ave. And if you are a child or a grown woman, you may want to do it an octave higher, so. Ave. We are uh, we are also sopranos, if you <laughs> couldn't tell. So make sure you're doing it in your proper octave. Um, Ave, Ave Maris, Maris Stella. section Ave Maria Stella and We'll give you a chance to sing that All right, let's move on to the next section Dei Mater Alma Dei Mater Alma. All right, break it down into bite sized pieces. Dei Ma. Dei Ma. Dei Ma. Dei Ma. Mater. 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 Alma. Alma. I've seen that whole first section. Second section, sorry. That's. Dei Mater Alma. I'll give you a chance to sing it. I'm sure it's very nice, but we can't <laughs> hear you, obviously. Okay, and, uh, part number, numero tre. Atque semper virgo. Atque, oops, atque, atque semper virgo. Thomas was not supposed to make any mistakes, but right. as and you can see, I will, and they will be fully we'll have to talk edited, about this. edited out and <laughs> we're going to have to talk about this after. Atque semper virgo. Nice. Let's break that into parts. Atque semper. Atque semper. Atque semper. Virgo. Virgo. Great. If you're looking at the show notes, you'll notice that there's a little squiggly line on the Virgo, so the Go of Virgo. And what that little s properly called the squiggle, as Thomas knows. Yes, that's the technical term. There are some colloquialisms like, uh, what's what, what are some rubes call it? Yeah, m most of the noobs would call it a qualisma, but yeah. the squiggle is the proper Ridiculous name. Ridiculous millennial term for <laughs> the squiggle. <laughs> Virgo, Virgo. So let's do that entire third phrase. Atque semper Virgo. Felix celli porta. Felix celli porta. Break that into two pieces. Felix Cha. Felix Cha. Felix Chali. Felix Chali. Porta. Porta. And the whole phrase. Felix Chali. Porta. Well, why don't we do this whole thing from the very beginning? See if we can piece together the entire melody. Actually, what, 
let's do the first two sections together, and then we'll do the last two sections together. Ave Maria Stella, Dei Mater Alma. And we'll let you sing that. All right, I'm sure it's very pretty. In the last section, at semper virgo, Felix Celi porta. Ave Maria Stella, Dei Mater Alma, Atque Semper Virgo, Felix Celi Porta. Now, if you are very bold and would like to move on, We'll give you the second verse. So uh, we'll just go over the Latin here real quick. Sumens ilud ave. Sumens ilud ave. Gabrielis ore. Gabrielis ore. Funda nos in pace. Funda nos in pace. Mutans eve nomen. Mutans eve nomen. I've heard the H pronounced in the heve but I usually keep it silent. Mutans eve nomen. Mutans eve nomen. Great. And if you don't know the, the English translation in this, we'll include that in the show notes. So let's sing it together. Sumans ilud ave Gabrielis ore Funda nos in pace, mutans eve nomen. Another note for you chant scholars out there is, um, notice in between like the phrases, so sumens ilud ave, and then the second phrase, Gabrielis ore, there's a little line going vertically down, it's a little one, and that's technically called the quarter rest. Wait, did I say rest? Mm -hmm. Quarter bar. Quarter bar. So it's not a rest. Um, you can technically take a, bre a breath there if you want. I wouldn't, personally. Um, I would take it at the, the, the next bar. So you see, after Gabrielis Ore, you'll see a, a bigger line right in the middle of the staff. And that's where I would take a breath, usually. Let's, let's so give let's it. Let's give him a, yeah, I'll show you an example. So... Sumans ilud ave, Gabrielis ore, funda nos in pace, mutans ever nomen. So, in order to do that, uh, you're going to have swimmer lungs, but... Tom and I are both professional swimmers. That's right. Not true. Not true. Um, <laughs> did swim once before, but not. Um, well, if you want to hear the whole thing, we'll sing the whole thing through, and you can add on the verses as you feel comfortable. So from the very beginning. Ave Maria Dei Mater Alma Atque semper virgo, Felix Celi porta. Sumens ilud ave, Gabrielis ore, Funda nos in pace. Solve in 
ma la nostra pelle buona cunta poche monsrate se madre sumat per te preces qui pro nobis natus tulite setus virgo singulari Sculpi saluto smites facet castos vitam presta pura miter aratutu ut videndes Iesu Semper coletemu, si blas teo patri, sumo Cristo decus, Spiritu e Santo, tribus honorum. Thanks for joining us on the Chant School podcast. For more information, check out our show notes for PDFs or links to the chants that we've sung today and any other resources that are relevant. And uh, head over to our website, floriani.org, for more information. If you guys are Instagram users, you can also look us up at Floriani Sacred Music and listen to some of our tunes that we post on there. Thanks very much. God bless. See you later.